as you probably guessed by the title, we apparently have some iPhone 16 leaks and I know every year it seems to happen earlier and earlier. So according to 91 Mobile on Instagram, the CAD files for the iPhone 16 models have been leaked. And I know a lot of people have been waiting for the iPhone 16 because they think that this was going to be the model that had the new design update, something significantly different from the other models. And so taking a look at these CAD files, that doesn't seem to be completely incorrect as it looks like there's a new button on the iPhone. So looking at the two new changes, it appears that the first one is the action button is still there. However, they've made it a little bit larger. So I've always had an issue with the action button. I feel like it's just a little bit too small and the spot that it's in isn't ideal. So I get a lot of mispresses where I don't actually want to hit it. And for some reason, my thumb ends up on there. And then on the opposite side of the coin, when I actually do want to use it, because the button's so small, I still end up missing it. So apparently that button's been made a little bit larger. Hopefully they offset the buttons and move them down just slightly so everything is easier to reach. But it's Apple, so who really knows? Now, based on the size and placement of it and the name capture button, I don't know how they got that name, but apparently this is gonna be used for the camera app. So I can imagine when you're holding the phone, so I can imagine when you're holding the phone landscape like this, you now have easy access to a shutter button. And whether that's actually easier than using this digital button on screen, I don't know. I've always been the person that uses the volume down button when I'm taking photos like this anyways, or even sometimes when I'm taking selfies or whatever, my thumb is already on that volume down button, so I don't understand why a capture button would be necessary. But again, these are alleged leaks, so it's tough to say what'll actually be true. However, last year we thought the same thing with the action button. A lot of people said that the mute switch was Apple's design language and they would never change that. However, we still ended up seeing that action button last year, so I actually wouldn't be surprised if a capture button or some form of customizable button showed up on this year's phone. And I know there's gonna be a ton of Android people in the comments saying that Android did this so long ago, we've always had mappable buttons, whatever the case is. And yes, you're right, but that doesn't mean that other companies can't try the same thing. Um, I know the action button wasn't fully customizable in that they gave you a set of, I think, eight different options, and then you could program different things into it by using the shortcut feature. However, it would be nice if this capture button just allowed you to choose whatever function, open whatever app or whatever you're interested in doing. It would be nice if you could just map that without having to do any workarounds. Now, obviously, again, these leaks are usually just speculation. I have no idea where they come from half the time, but I'm interested to know what your thoughts are. Do you think that a capture button is necessary? Would you like if the capture button was fully mappable to do whatever you want? Or do you think that the iPhone is fine just the way it is? But either way, that's been it much love as always thrown up two of them and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace